Thank you so much for joining me. I'm T Payne, and welcome to another Let's Learn Python. So feel free to click on the right side to use the skip ahead feature to jump to a specific section um, or the examples that you'd like to uh, learn. We're going to be using uh, Python 2.7.4 in this exercise. Um, you can download it from uh, python.org slash get it. This will build heavily on the past lessons, so feel free to go back and watch those again if anything is unclear. So let's go ahead and get started and open up idle. So just a minor note, I upgraded to uh, 2.7.4. And so what you're going to do to uh, upgrade to a new version of Python is you're going to go under um, in Windows. Uh, I, I'm not sure what it is for Mac, but you're going to go under Python um, 2.7 and uninstall the 2.7.3 version before you install 2.7.4. And after you do that, um, then you're going to have to go into your C drive and delete it from the main directory and just click delete and uh, delete it out and then um, install the new version and it'll uh, set everything up for you. Um, that's just so you get a clean installation for it. So today's focus is going to be conditionals. So let's say we had some conditional we want to check for. Say if an integer were to get to a certain value. Um, this is a perfect instance where we'd use the if conditional. Conditionals are a way to check for something. So one example of a conditional is using the if statement. If some statement is true, then it executes. Um, otherwise, it doesn't. So for example, checking the mailbox. Is there mail? If so, grab the mail. Otherwise, walk away and cry because you didn't get any mail. What works great with the if statement is the else statement. Else is a catch-all for anything that gets passed by the if statement or doesn't meet the criteria to make the statement true. So for example, if I breathe, I'm alive. If I don't, I'm super dead. So the last conditional I have besides if and else is a combination of the two called else if and it would fit right in between if and else. And it's uh, uh, else if something, some other condition needs to be checked. For example, if um, I'm breathing, I'm alive. Else if I'm walking around, I'm a zombie. Oh. So before we begin, I want to stress the importance of the tab button. Python is super sensitive to uh, spacing. And if you use uh, four spaces or the tab character, um, you need to, to keep that continuity throughout the whole thing. For using the Python shell in idle, you need to use the tab button. But in things like Maya, it uses four spaces. Uh, why? I don't know. But it's something to be very, very aware of. All right, so let's see an example of the if statement in action. We're going to type mail equals five. Enter. And then if mail colon enter. And then we're going to type print uh, quotation marks mail time. Enter. Enter. Okay. So here's an example of the if statement. So what we typed in was if mail, and it says if there is some value of mail, then what we're going to do is print mail time. The reason I use print is because uh, I want to start getting you in the practice of using it. Because as we developed uh, Python scripts and files, we're going to be using print a lot, lot more. Okay, so that's as simple as it gets. Um, if some condition is met, print whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and try another example. And now let's try an example of the if else statement. So we're going to type in mail equals zero. Enter. If mail colon print mail time in quotations and then right here we're going to type backspace to go back and then we're going to type else colon again enter print no mail sad face enter and enter one more time to execute this and now it prints no mail sad face the reason being is because the condition of the if statement was not met. Therefore, it passed it and skipped 
printing the mail time and instead jump to the else which is the catch-all again um, if nothing else if no other conditions are met and then it will print no mail sad face <laughs> all right great job all right so next we're going to begin using operands um, which are simple ways of checking or comparing two different values um, and we're going to use parentheses to enclose all our operand operations um, this is a way of keeping your code clean and it makes it much easier to debug later on so here we go we're going to type in if four is less than six close parentheses colon enter print ham sandwich because I love ham sandwiches enter enter and then it prints ham sandwich alright great so we found out that um, if four is less than six print ham sandwich which we know to be true and the parentheses acted as a kind of buffer to keep stuff separated and sure enough it printed ham sandwich awesome let's try one more so we're gonna type in if open parentheses seven is less than or equal to six well four we yeah, there you go six close parentheses colon enter print space Wah! enter and then we're gonna go press backspace once because we want to untab it press L or type else colon and then print seven is greater than six close in quotes enter enter and now we know that this conditional was not met so wa was not printed because seven is not less than or equal to six and so seven is greater than six so let's say that we had multiple conditions that we wanted to check um, you can use a one of three words uh, or one of two words and or or to combine different conditionals into a single statement so what we can do is we can type if and then we're gonna go open parentheses seven close parentheses and open close open parentheses close parentheses with a six inside colon print yep enter enter and it's yep um, because what we're saying is that hey uh, is there some value for uh, in these parentheses yep is there some print value in these parentheses yep and so both conditions are met so the and statement is true so and is used to make sure that both conditionals are met within a single statement so the and or the or keywords are used as a way of combining multiple conditionals into a much larger conditional so if uh, 0 and 4 print what? wah ha 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 enter enter and it will not be met because 0 is always false another keyword to know about is the not keyword and we can use if not and then we'll type in zero in parentheses, colon, print, uh, yep, enter, and print out yep, because the condition was met. And it says, if not false, so if not false is basically saying if true, and which it is, um, then print yes. It, uh, it's a way of reversing um, the a uh, uh, conditional. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Great job in keeping up today. Uh, definitely take a few minutes to investigate these final examples. Um, they go over a lot of the topics that we went over. Also, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss another episode as I crank them out. And thank you so much for your support and keep the dream alive.